Hello everybody, welcome. It's time for another spinner. Uh, you know, we are doing it every Sunday now, whatever spinner we'll pick. On Wednesdays we still have the European town till we finish. So let's get spin and see. I want to know what I'm going to stitch together with you. So are you ready? Let's spin. Da -da -da -da. Drum roll. What is going to be Asian ways? Oh my goodness! All this um, kind of horses ways. Um, well, that's an interesting project because there is a metallic threads up there, some blends. Uh, I was hoping to get something easy canvas these days. <laughs> okay, let me go get an Asian vase and we will start stitching. My handsome boy bandit chewing on his bone, so <laughs> excuse those noises. Uh, okay, Daisy next to him here napping. All right, so here it is. Let me remind you what design we are going to stitch today that my spinner picked. Uh, I call Asian Ways, um, which is, um, you know what, I should use Google Translator to see. Well, no, I think it was original, like Asian Ways, this design call. So here it is, very beautiful and bright design. And just to remind you, uh, yeah, Romantic Story brand. And we have in here lots and lots of different stitches. So let me see. We have in here a full stitch. We have a blend full stitch. We have a half stitch, back stitch, blend back stitch, French knot. We have blend half stitch. And I think that's it. Yeah, so lots of different stitches in here. That's why this design like so awesome. Um, maybe a little bit harder to work with because lots of different stuff. But uh, here's I still have a brand new on a package threads because I still have plenty in here. Uh, I already put in here my blends on this palette with a little bit of the symbol up there. So. If we look very close, okay, you can see the blend in here include metallic thread, some of them, okay, it's already on the needle, you can see the needle stick it out up there, and here is this palette of the colors in here, like this, okay, here's the colors, and now let's see actual canvas how much I stitched so far okay I'm trying to work with one hand so bear with me okay so this is back of my canvas and okay this is my progress from year ago uh, because last year we did not stitch this design at all, at all. I didn't touch it. So I wasn't really wanted to spinner pick this design, but spinner pick and thank goodness, at least I will have some progress done in here. So on this side, you can see a little bit better how much it's stitched. Now let me flip, I still have in here my needle minder. Okay. Here it is, it's a big canvas, 11 count Ada. I have a magnet in here, like a heart. Um, here is my blend, I have stitches in here. So it's on this side. Um, yeah, this is how it looks like. The only thing what I did before, see now when I do have stitch, I do have stitch this way and my clothes and cross stitches usually go this way top line but before I did everything pointed out in one direction so I need to be very careful now not to forget that and not to start to do half stitch in the wrong direction so in here I was testing out and see with the back stitch so I did back stitch a little bit in here there is some metallic can we see a metallic threads in here maybe 
Uh, maybe a little bit, yeah, you can see some blends with metallic in here. This yellow in here is metallic, not much you can see, kind of hard to see. Uh, all right, so that's that's what we have for now. So I was thinking to stitch kind of like this line, the way the tablecloth or whatever is going. I wanted to stitch this one, but it's actually two color in here, very similar. I have to be careful and it's actually blends as well. So maybe for the sake of video, we will jump somewhere to the top. I don't know, something easy. Uh, maybe those patches of the colors we will find some somewhere from this side. I'm not sure if that's a half stitch would be or or what. So let me think about it, what we will stitch together and I get back to you. And we need to start to work or actually I should just continue in here. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we will pick that green symbol, it's kind of a lot in here. All right, I will be back in a second with something in my hands. I decided to stitch uh, green symbol number seven. Uh, but you need to be very careful because next to a green symbol as well I have on another side and it's 38 number threads oh no 33 I think uh, yeah lots of similar blocks so like I said before I like this brand because it have lots of different stitches um, excellent work after you finish but the only thing that I don't like is their symbol choice uh, for the canvas it's really a similar color blocks and time from time it's uh, hard to understand what you stitch in if you can pass that uh, you will love these designs uh, now I do not I I don't have a frame for this design uh, my other one a little bit too small the rest are kind of busy that I could pinch at least a little bit so I will be um, Okay, puppy and a move uh, I will stitch in my hands as much as possible try to keep Tension so the canvas not so you know flimsy. <laughs> I literally hold them in my hand but because this canvas are so tough, kind of stiff, it's easy to do that. So that's what it is. Um, I was like so... <laughs> I don't know, I didn't stitch this design for a long time. Definitely we didn't stitch last year. And I feel sorry for it. And for some reason, when spinner picked I was like <clears throat> was a little bit even disappointed <laughs> which is funny I love this design but I think I disappointed because I know how difficult to stitch would be for me on camera uh, depends on the symbol I guess I pick so I pick the brightest one green so it's easy to see it um, if, we, if we look at this to symbol right if they have like um, See like two in here, like this one, but they sometimes very blend into this color, and it's hard to tell at night which one color is what. So on a daytime, um, like right now, I think this five, six stitches in here same as this one, but again I'm not certain because it very very look like this one. So to me. Uh, to work with this design I'm keeping this piece of paper this pattern next to me all the time and I always verify if I have to start to stitch on a new symbol or even um, this green very similar I have one more green um, I am verifying with the paper all the time so that's the only thing that kind of slowing down a little bit but other than that uh, designs like I say I love it because they have lots of different stitches lots of blends in metallics and all the good stuff which I still don't know if I'm doing a metallic correctly or how many strand of metallic so 
I'm just adding I think one in here so that's how I stitch okay so I will be eliminating this green color from both sides of the vase it's a good chunk in here and I'm pulling some fluff. I think it's maybe on me. We were, we were snuggling with Poppy this morning. Well, we snuggle all the time. <clears throat> he actually went lay down. Good boy. Because he was just sitting in the window and barking for no reason. It's like nobody there, but he sits and bark. I oh, could be seeing a bird. Or... Lots of other fluffy things running around, not gonna say name because Daisy, not a word. Yesterday I have a visitor, oh my goodness. Today, by the way, it's a Thursday, 28th. I'm finally starting <laughs> this design. So yes, it's going to be kind of behind of the stitching. Not exactly full week, but that's what usually I have. Or or Wednesday or Thursday kind of um, end up working with but I did stitch last night lots of uh, and park new threads from my European town so anyway I started to cook dinner all of a sudden some commotion dogs go crazy outside so I look oh my goodness my baby willow one of the Barry and Daisy kids come visit us. Uh, they are friends and uh, I thought, okay, I so wonder if she's gonna recognize me or not, right? So she came to me, fell on the ground, start kind of crying, so I think she recognized me. Oh my god, I give her lots of hugs and kisses. And she's so chubby and fluffy. She looked totally different than my puppy. I say, oh my goodness, how much do you feed her that she, she's so chubby? They say two and a half cups. I say, what, like per once, per day? They say per day. I was like, how is that even possible? My puppy eats four cups per day and he's more <clears throat> skinnier. Um, she say, well, maybe because she eats lots of treats, well, that make a difference then. Um, plus, I think, like Catherine says, it's make a sense. Uh, my puppy um, have in here, you know, Daisy and Buddy, and they play and constantly wrestling. So that give a puppy exercise, right? And this thread, that's how I used to finish um, by like this hold on i'm gonna show you see like oh now it's over stitch not gonna see it but i used to finish my uh, stitching like this so just a minute let me grab a scissors <coughs> now i can chop this little tail because i already over stitched from the other side i don't finish this way anymore so that's how long I did not stitch this design. Uh, so yes, because uh, my bandit, he playing constantly with his parents, chasing the cat around. And cat actually like to play. Sometimes when he has enough, he will tell he has enough, but he like to play. Uh, so he's more active, I guess, and uh, not getting just sitting and get chubby. But oh my goodness, she's so beautiful. She's still very light in color. Um, and uh, that, oh my god, she was just beautiful. I didn't take any pictures because I wasn't ready. I was cooking, my hands was like I was chopping something. Uh, and uh, oh, I was peeling potatoes and so I just ran outside. And oh, that was amazing. That was amazing. I love all my puppies. She was the smallest one in a bunch when they pick. She's not small anymore, so that's good. And the summer, I'm planning to meet a whole bunch of them uh, because um, one of them up there working where we have our garage. 
so he play up there always with the puppy of uh, my brother-in-law so when I go to garage I will see him Max oh yeah so that was amazing okay I hope you don't mind this me working with no frame hopefully it's not very shaky sometimes I kind of bend in here to get it close yeah so with this design um, if you decide to order I'm not sure if it's still available this design or not because it was many years when I got it um, and I'm not sure if I have on a packaging or from where I got it I will check later but <clears throat> I'm not sure if this is still for sale or not um, this design it will be in the description box uh, or as a title if I will find from where I got it I think it was from fans so because this design is very old back then most of my design was um, fan sale I don't have too many companies to review yet so most likely but uh, maybe even from FGOPY oh my goodness it feels like I need to look just a minute <coughs> I literally gonna pull out my packaging hold on hold on hold on let me just check on a package and usually I write down on the back uh, unless oh yeah FGOBY yes FGOBY oh that's uh, interesting because last week we did with you FGOBY uh, treasure time that's also designed from the store Sorry about that. I have to stop. My puppy decided to bark today and that's it. <laughs> now he climbed on a window like I showed you in one of my videos. Like a cat sitting on the top of the sofa and looking in the window. So that was like a last uh, little stitch that I finished and now I repark my thread in a new position. So let's continue. We will stitch this part go here. We will go up to this point for now and later we'll see where we're gonna go there's lots of here in this symbol and it's actually that's how usually how I pick uh, my design to stitch I'm looking on a symbol that is more visible um, time from time in some occasions I pick symbol that is uh, if it's not too many of them and later it will be harder to see it then you have to finish those first um, which that's what I will do when I stitch by myself because some of them like few of them for example like you know I have to finish this one but that's going to be probably full stitch which I don't know could be blends never know um, but yeah there's some in here um, when I'm looking up right now on the camera I can see a little bit better no but still see like it's too simple in here but look how they blend in close oh I still have a, some short thread parked in here <laughs> left from other time mm, yeah this design a little bit probably difficult to stitch for the camera but I'm glad that I'm now stitching and I will make a progress by the way I'm stitching with the needle from a spring brand I switch in all my 11 count threads to the spring brand needle in my opinion I did not find better needle than that I'm so happy um, or oh, one more thing that I can give you update uh, Marina sent me yesterday video short video on the messenger how she stitches and remember she was stitching on camera a little bit and I was saying that I need to show her <clears throat> my way because the way she stitched I think 
she will have lots of um, threads waste so <coughs> so she was stitching at work <laughs> now she hung up on the cross stitch so she was stitching on a break at work and her friend saw her stitching and she said Marina you're wasting lots of threads this way uh, it is look beautiful but it's a lots of waste of thread in some point could be too short for example if you stitch in like I mentioned before Joy Sunday Joy Sunday are very skimpy on the threads they like minimum leftovers so you have to be careful uh, so yeah her friend show her the other way the way I stitch same way so now Marina stitches same way as I did because it was look beautiful right the way it looks on the other side almost like full coverage too but boy uh, I hope she will have enough uh, thread to finish that particular color so she say well if it's not going to be enough I'm just gonna look for the color in other uh, designs that you give it to me because I give her many of cross stitch designs from uh, spring brand so she is hooked now that's it I'm so happy she like cross stitch now that's it one more <laughs> mission accomplished one more person love to cross stitch that's good so now I know when next time <coughs> I go back home I will bring her some cross stitch yeah and I give her a whole bunch of threads just the threads without kit that I have one time received kit uh, with wrong threads and the whole pack beautiful beautiful threads uh, I give it to her because she wanted to do like Ukrainian embroidery so I say well you will use some point you know you already know how to do cross stitch that's the most important thing you know how to sew on a machine and you can do embroidery clothes for your boys so those threads will be handy for her yeah I think this one that we have that's the also will be blend threads um, we'll see maybe till the end of this uh, week you know we will try I will try to stitch at least once with you with the blend Mm, we'll see how that will go because with metallic threads uh, a little bit more difficult on the mix in here because it can curl up you have to kind of work with two hands so without frame I will see maybe I will unframe one of my designs and use it or maybe even I can put on a hoop but this is very thick canvas more difficult to put into the hoop I don't like a hoops anymore unless it's just a, like a um, soft fabric to stitch counted cross stitch hoops would be good because it's a soft fabric this one that is painted it's a big layer of paint on it and canvas itself stiff A little bit too far from for you, isn't it? Hold on, let me let me try it. Just a minute, just a minute, because I have a light. Let's see if this will be a little bit better for you to see if I can lift it. My tripod staying on the top of the canvas, so I can't really move too much. Oh my God! Look who climb on my lap. <laughs> Look who climb on my lap. Oh my goodness. He is a kitty cat. That's for sure. Bandit, you gonna help me stitch? Really? Uh, sorry, but I have to stop again. Uh, I just got a uh, um, bus business thing. Just people deliver a check to me. But look at this. He is climbing on my lap. And he's gonna stitch now with me. <laughs> what you got? Oh my goodness! Really, really? You're just gonna be 
Okay, just don't make a wet because my design will disappear. That's bandit. Okay, go bandit now. <laughs> okay, little one. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. I have to play. As you can see today, our cross stitch is with pretty much heavy obstacles. <laughs> Sometimes I have a more peaceful time today. It's just a uh, uh, puppy and a barking mood because lots of people walking around. Some people um, put to it like tomorrow we will have on Friday garbage day. So today people put some stuff they want to throw away and some pieces could be like, you know, furniture or some other items. So people walking around and picking stuff, some collecting for the metal scrap some like a beer bottle so they can take it to the store and yes my puppy drinking water very very loud so they see all those people walking around here and they barking and then puppy time from time he just wants to climb on the top of my lap sit to me here very often he go like behind me and come on my computer chair and just sit up there he is so strange he acting like not like any other dog. I think uh, sometimes he learn from my cat have to sit and what to do, and it's just uh, interesting the way he acting. But anyway, today also I want to give you some update. I've received today a huge box of product from Pencil. Oh, so, so like pretty designs up there from spring brand pretty designs with silk threads uh, some diamond paintings some tools accessories so i have recording lots of accord recording ahead of me uh, i might will record some today at least one video uh, because um, by looking on my calendar let me check um, What's the day? Um, yeah, 28, 28. So it's a Thursday. Or oh, for Friday, I don't have nothing. Friday and Saturday? Ah, okay. I guess one of those videos will be on Friday. But by the time you're watching this video, it's already... You watched that, it's mean. So yeah, something else. We have to figure out something else to do. Okay. Threads are nice in here. I like to stitch with them. Uh, from before and now, I don't know how much threads it's uh, changed or not in Romantic Story brand. Definitely didn't change symbol. <clears throat> I wish they do. But not yet. I have in here a big chunk of solid color on the vase actually so maybe I will stitch with you that part as well because that way kind of would be like on one spot staying and stitching you can do like this sometimes I do just like a one half so from here and just go and then do one again because if I would do all the time the stitches will be round up kinda I poked my finger so hard yesterday to the blood <laughs> right in here so now when I push it on it it's a little hurt I was stitching yeah I was stitching European town and I was going to, <clears throat> I was doing, like, you know, when I go on the center to finish my stitches, 
or when I start I go like in the middle and my finger was under I didn't move away and place needle right in it ouchie ouchie <laughs> I didn't like that so be careful kids don't play too hard with needles all right watch out okay we have to move maybe camera a little bit and I'm kind of like rolling for the comfort to hold it and hopefully you're still going to see yeah I have to say thank you so much for your compliments about my stitching oh that that is so sweet of you that you consider me one of the best cross stitcher whips because you like how you can see everything so I'm kind of a little bit embarrassed right now to stitch without frame that's maybe a little bit too shaky for you uh, but I have uh, two frames available but this canvas is very very wide very wide it's um, um 216 by 248 in stitches in 11 count that's uh, you know that's a big canvas so it doesn't fit and if I fold they're probably not going to fit correctly in the frame so I just decided very often for myself I stitch just like that like I showing you right now uh, sometimes I roll my canvas if my in my hands if this is like on the edge somewhere Okay, I thought I will have enough of this thread to finish the top part of the green. It looks like my thread getting shorter. I already prep another bunch of threads. Uh, the same color, yeah, because when you pull apart 3 plus 3, right, I just even them up got ready I just need to put in the needle and be ready to go and oh my god Daisy was sitting on the window keep barking looking barking so I literally grab her paw push her down from the top of the sofa so she don't look in the window and tell her go sleep she's sleeping and <laughs> now she's sleeping she's snoring <laughs> I wonder if you can hear her snore You know how people call um, people who has lots of cats, they call crazy lady, crazy cat lady? I'm a crazy golden lady. It's all these golden retrievers. Crazy dog lady. And I love it. Okay, let's see. Hopefully this three I don't know. Is it gonna be enough to finish this three so I don't have to start in here again? Let's see. Let's try it. Let's pull impossible. It's like an edge in here. I think I will do it. Very short. Okay. And we're done. And now I'm just going to flip on this side. Sorry, you have to see my legs and my sportswear I was doing exercise a little bit doing squats oh yeah I have to work out sometimes you know um, let me just grab my scissors to cut this little piece okay uh, you have a time for more stitching while puppy sleeping I just need to retread just a minute 
I already have ready my other just gonna oops even up my threader okay so while puppy's sleeping we can stitch a little bit more same color okay let's start this time um not under i will start on the top and i'm going to move canvas towards me a little bit okay the way i start before so for those who seeing this start for the first time i think it will be help you and it's a very kind of like a save thread this is very minimum waste so what we're doing we pull in here all the way that this little tail is hiding in here a little bit sticking out but that's okay that will hide later or you can trim later and just go right in the middle and that's how i poke my finger so make sure you Put your fingers away <laughs> don't make my mistake and just a slight little bit right now like tag like you know if i can show it from this just a like easy first to just make sure it's um holding and now as hard as i can pull it go nowhere you see that so it's a very nice and secure and a minimum waste of thread um, the way I weigh from the other side, this one, uh, this way, it's more kind of economical. Is that the word? In a minute I will show you one spot just to show you the craziness of this uh, print <laughs> definitely this out booklet will hard to figure out because so many you see like like it's so many numbers in here but here at least like a different colors uh, but I will show you spot now I'm, I'm purposely now will hold on I'm just going to jump to another spot and I will show you what I mean because I think it's interesting aggravating a little bit but okay so we will stitch in here let me bring my camera to the other spot hold on hold on hold on okay right in here look at this so many colors in here so how we know what is going on in here for example or maybe you know on a camera i can see maybe a little bit better but 23 and 24 so 24 i think this is the lightest color what's in here so 23 oh and here 23 i guess maybe this gray so what's 22 is this is brown you see like it's it's a little bit confusing because if this is 24 this is 23 so where is the 23 finishing where is the starting like under the number like right like this curve it's so confusing sometimes so without book hard to hard to understand now on the daytime i can see a little bit better in here this light light pink with the super light pink this is like super light pink but when at night it's hard to see where is the end where is the finish like it's almost like blending all together this canvas definitely need to stitch on the daytime only um i have to say that on the camera i can see a little bit better than because it's zoom close uh, but if i would stitch at night or stitch um 
without glasses, I don't think I would recognize what kind of symbol I'm stitching. So yeah, that piece of paper up there, it's so important to see. Plus, you need the paper all the time to hold next to you anyway, because you don't know if that's supposed to be your stitch, uh, half stitch or blend half stitch or full stitch or blend full stitch. So I'm telling you, it's a lot of work, but it's rewarding when you look and look so amazing. Especially the pieces that I already stitched. It looks so good. So yeah, it is going to be pretty, but it's uh, lots of work with this. So what else we're going to talk about? Um, <laughs> what are we going to talk about? I'm going to go away for one week in April. So if I'm not answering on your questions, it's mean wait till I get back. Um, I will try my best to pre-record videos so you have videos for every day while I'm away. Um, I will see, I will have to go to the Bell Canada, switch my cell phone, because my cell phone is a piece of crap. Since last summer, half time not working, then working, it doesn't ring all the time. So, I will see if my plan already updated to get new phone for the plan, and I will have to put my phone... I want to do the plan for that week that I'm not going to be here to put like a, you know, extra money and change plan to international for that week. So I can check my news and maybe I will check with you if internet will work up there. Um, I will be going to the Dominican Republic. I'm kind of scared to fly, but we are going to go with Sherry. Yes, we will try to create lots of videos for you from there. She's like already, <laughs> what, you taking the crafty stuff with you? <laughs> I say, aren't we supposed to relax and do nothing? Like, no, of course. Last time uh, when I went, we went to Cuba, I think last time we was in Cuba, and I brought with me, back then I think, uh, diamond painting, or maybe even cross stitch, oh, now I don't even remember. I did brought with me, didn't work too often on it, but when in the daytime, for example, like when it's super, super hot, and you just want to chill and usually my husband would go for a nap and I would craft why waste the time or I would go to the beach pick up some pretty shells um, so this time Sherry probably will take a or maybe cross stitch maybe she will take a crochet so I'm thinking I'm thinking what I will bring with me of course it has to be one or two item to to do something something little tiny so if i will um i can do on a plane for example something tiny cr uh, cross stitch on an airplane because usually what's well, like three four hours fly so it would be nice to do something. Usually I sit by the window and I look in the illuminator in the window, taking videos or pictures. But sometimes seats in the middle of the row and you cannot see nothing, so it's kind of boring. So I would cross stitch maybe. Or maybe we'll grab a piece of yarn and try to to do some characters, something 
I don't know. What should I take with me? Uh, definitely not to take a diamond painting with me because it's a very hot. Can you imagine the glue is just going to melt up there? Um, so I don't want to get like too messy. So most likely I will take in something small cross stitch and maybe uh, maybe yarn and hook to try to learn like sh I always wanted to learn how to create those characters like a, to do like a dolls making dolls um, Sherry making some pretty good she learned and I wanted to learn this like probably from 10 years from now and I never <laughs> never went to try it so maybe together with Sherry she will show me that way it would be easier because I don't really understand how to read pattern in English way um, I read patterns only in European style which is all those kind of like lines crisscross all that stuff that Canadians don't understand usually <laughs> So we are opposite, so maybe she can teach me her way and I will teach her my way. Because there's lots of cute patterns on the internet that she would be interested to learn, but she don't know how to use those symbols, and I do know. So we can teach each other. And uh, many times we plan to go together on vacation and never kind of... Stars never got together. <laughs> So this time, hopefully, well, we already have a tickets. Hopefully nothing goes wrong and we will go. Okay, I will finish on the front as well in here because we start. Um, no, you know what? I'm not going to finish. This is not very long jump to here. It's maybe like two centimeters. That's fine. It, that thread will be over stitch on the back later. I could wave sometimes. Okay, hold on. Let me just pull out very often what I do okay like this okay hold on like this okay so I'm just looking at where I have to go with my needle and time from time I just do like an extra like that underneath that way not so much a hanging thread and then put wherever I go right here see so it would be like close so if I oh sorry so if I pull this way see it still look better than would be just a straight line uh, hanging thread that one kind of more secure but on the, later on this will be over stitch anyway with the other symbols so <coughs> Hold on, I forgot to <laughs> move my camera and it's already 23 minutes. My camera will stop now soon. Alright, so I will be stitching, stitching. All these green colors probably will continue with it. And I will back. Or maybe while puppy sleeping, I will write back to you with other color. Or we're just going to stitch till this thread is done. That's probably a better idea. All right. I hope you don't mind stitching more with this brown color, which is beautiful, very shiny looking color. Threads look shiny. And we are going to continue. Should we talk about movie again? It's kind of like tradition already um, and I'm loving it. You suggested me watch so many movies. Um, on the Netflix, uh, very interesting. Okay, Armageddon, I watched the movie a long time ago. So yes, thank you for the suggestions, but I already watched it. Um, another one, Speed, I watched as well. 
now uh, what was another one recently I just saw in the comments oh I forgot the name I have to look or oh, the one of the movie that was suggest suggested by who was it who was it um I didn't find it on Netflix. I didn't see that movie. When I go to the search bar, it's not showing me. So it's probably, or they take down from Netflix. Oh, so many amazing movies Netflix took down. That is a sad story because some of them, I don't mind to watch like 10 times. Especially uh, my son and I, we watch a lot together movie about the robots. Transformers that was one of my favorite movies seriously I don't know how many times we watch we have a collection on DVD at home but it's it's fun to watch on a big screen you know on big TV with the sounds <laughs> and it's just amazing I love the Optimus Prime his voice like it's always give me goosebumps and it's not on Netflix anymore ah give me goosebumps now just to think about it love the movie hopefully they will bring it back I have to check maybe it's already brought back but doubt it lots of lots of good movie Netflix took down yeah but hopefully they will bring lots of new one exciting <clears throat> You know, the more I stitch this canvas now, the more I want to stitch. Now I'm actually very happy because uh, last year when we were stitching by the seasons, by three months projects, I was thinking about design all the time. And I thought, well, it's kind of sad I never went to this design anymore. And I thought, who knows when my spinner will pick. But so far, spinner picking good. Designs that I'm kind of like procrastinating to stitch. <laughs> That's why it's good to have a spinner. It will push you to do project that you procrastinate. And maybe you feel like me. Like, ah, it's not feel like to do this today. Maybe next time. But when you're honest with yourself and do what spinner told you to do, all your project will move along nicely because you know what I could cheat right and pretend I never spin and just reload new video like I'm spinning again right like for the first time but no I, I'm, I'm honest with you and I'm honest with myself like if I would cheat what's the purpose of the spinner so that's why sometimes when I look <laughs> on design what's pop I was like oh twisted my arms but I have to do it <laughs> I have to do it so that's good I will have some project done hopefully um, it would be nice to stitch as much as possible to kind of finish one side from the vase I know it's a lot but I still have you know today Thursday Friday Saturday well, on Saturday night, I have to kind of finish to start to upload, but three days, little by little, I can stitch. Oh, by the way, there's uh, another big news coming up. Uh, I, I forgot the date. Uh, uh, the solar, um, what is that? Full, how you call it? When they turn in tonight, uh, uh, oh my god, uh, oh, I cannot say the word. <laughs> anyway, the sun will turn to black, and uh, in here, in my town, will be in library. They would give you special glasses to see that. 
because it's a very dangerous for your vision to look straight on the sun when this el ellipse, how you call it, el el solar el no, I'm making up probably words. So my husband will go to library, get this glasses, special glasses, so we can see in the sun how it's going to turn um, dark. They will supposed to turn to the dark. I have seen once in my life. Uh, it was a very short time, but still interesting. And we were looking at. Uh, we were like I was professional dancer and we were doing a tour um, two buses and we would travel from city to cities and one uh, time we were travel um, I can't remember now where but on the way to the concert we stop our bus and we were witness the first time this uh, sun was uh, going through i cannot remember which planet kind of was covering to go over the sun to create blackness we were looking through the fingers uh, i don't know nobody said to us it's well yeah we kind of knew it's a dangerous but i guess maybe not as strong as other times i don't know if that's all the same thing but it did went kind of darker day but it was really fast literally like seconds went over and then you start to see um, black thing go away and sun is coming out and it was a nice and sunny day visibility was like 100 percent it was beautiful so this time uh, even say where will be visibility bigger um, so Negra Falls they say I don't know in my town but my husband says okay we're gonna go to Negra Falls um, but not to the big crowd of the people because lately it's uh, dangerous to go to the big crowd with all these things going on around the world um, so we will be trying to stay away from the big crown, but they estimate it will be um, around million people will come to see. I don't know how they count, maybe because they did some uh, test, like a poll, maybe by how many people took glasses already, uh, because it's all free and it's going to be like a once in a lifetime. So yes, uh, we are excited to see that and hopefully it's going to be nice and beautiful clear sky. Not sure if that's going to be possible to record on camera. Maybe if I have my glasses, it would be visible through the camera. This camera that I record right now, I shoot glass, um, moon always. And I can see craters and everything on the moon. Uh, sun, of course, it's much higher. So I don't know how much will be zoom and visibility will be good or not. But I, I will try to see if I can record it for you. That's going to be something amazing to see. All right, moving on. Look at this beautiful blends in here. I don't know if you visible for you blends. Such a beautiful palette color and I think uh, one of this color in here for this blend I think it's one of this that I mm, I don't know may, no maybe not this color that I'm stitching right now no it's darker brown And my battery is finally flashing. So I'm just going to stitch or battery die first. Or we finish this thread that, uh, that I'm stitching right now. One of another. And then I come back with you with other color. 
to stitch more if my puppy still will be quiet we will stitch like right now more and then later I will do my own stitching and then come back and show you how much progress we did for this week so if you want you can stitch like this through the two holes all the time but it's just I don't like sometimes have layering okay I have to move over I made a cough and I forgot about it I'm having a, such a good time chit chatting with you today that I forgot to have a coffee Ay ay ay. Probably gonna have to nuke it in the microwave. First time I learned this word nuke from Sherry. I always would say reheat or microwave, and then she say nuke. It's like, what is it? She's like, you never heard the word? No, but that was like years ago. So, yeah. I learned this word from Sherry. Hi Sherry, I know you're not watching my video. But just in case, sometimes you do. She's a busy and she did such a good job stitching her flamingo. I wonder if she finished by now. Good thing I push her to stitch. And she can't because she didn't know if physically she can stitch or not with her injuries. But she's stitching, so I guess another person got back into the needle. <laughs> stitching needle, people, stitching needle. Don't get the bad idea. Okay, we are done in this one as well. I'm just going to finish this and definitely not going to have enough to finish this little piece in here. Is it? No, thread's way too short now. Okay, I will back with you. Maybe we will stitch. Let me show you this green 14. It's right in the middle of the vase as a highlight or something like that. Okay, I will be right back. Well, look at this nice blue color of the thread in here. So let's get this patch done in the middle of the base okay for some reason feel like my needle got thinner what is going on why is the magic happen <laughs> it's the same needle but feel like okay and it's keep dangling hold on we need to stretch maybe a little bit tail okay so how I do a work when I hold my canvas in a hand so in here I roll my you can roll tight let's let's do like tight hold on like this tight 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 and it's more comfortable to hold now I can hold in my hand like this and it's comfy to stitch and I'm keeping a, my table end up somewhere have to show some somewhere up there so I have this little space under swing my hands under the table. So let's do it ways. It's a solid color. I check, double check, <laughs> make sure it's no blend. So it's no blend, just a regular stitching in here. Okay, let me just check myself. Oh. Okay, somebody's scratching themselves too loud and knocking on the door. Must be body. Okay. Lots of commotions today. This video, hopefully, will get all the pieces together. So many stops we did today. And actually, we did a good link of stitching together. That makes me happy because you never know if, you know, tomorrow or after tomorrow I will have enough time to stitch or not depends on situation so when I have this chance right now even with the steps I will do it if I have to trim video somewhere I will definitely have to remember to trim where puppy bark because it will scare you 
He is little, but his bark is mighty, you know. When he bark, it's very deep. So I will have to hopefully remember to cut that piece out. Otherwise, you will jump in your seats. And if you already jump in your seats, it means I forgot to cut it out, that piece. <laughs> okay, hopefully I will remember. So I don't wax threads and I don't think I did wax. Usually this particular threads I don't wax. They layer nice. So I did not have to do that. Okay. Okay, if you look in this green color, see how don't they look to you like a shiny? It's almost like a silky thread. I will like threads in here. Okay, why this particular color keep tangling up? Oh, hold on. Hold it, hold it, hold it. I might well have to. When it's keep tangling up, then you might well have to wax it. But let's try again and see. Maybe it was my fault, the way I hold my thread underneath. I just make sure secure and my thread doesn't tangle on the bottom, so my fingers always running through up there. Like right now when I'm pulling, I'm pulling over my finger so I can feel it if it goes smoothly or if it's tangled up up there. Okay, and here I think I will go sideways now, because if I go there I'm just gonna not come in back this way, trying to get it like a shortcut, always creating a shortcut for more comfy stitching. Yeah, I think all the colors that in here, this could be blends. Okay, buddy, lay down. Come on. Come on, his tippet toe. Come on, lay down, buddy. Good boy. <laughs> he start to walk, and all of a sudden I see me recording, and he's like, stop, freeze, <laughs> put his head down, because he didn't expect me recording. They are smart. They understand. You are walking very gentle to the sofa. I tried to make it quiet, but those cloth doesn't help on a wooden floor making a clicks anyway. But he's thinking like he's tippy toe. That's cute. See, too bad we cannot see all these lines for the back stitching later, right? It would be nice and easy to stitch them when it's already on the canvas. Just follow the lines. Unfortunately, we have to stitch full stitch first. Okay, now who? Daisy, tip it toe. Okay, come on, Daisy, lay down. All right, good girl. Oh, don't you start. She's staring on the window, gonna bark again. If she bark, that's it for today. I cannot <laughs> handle any barking today in my video. Okay, buddy, lay down. Okay. Daisy, no barking. You can look, observe. 
Well, they actually told me I have a package today because they start bark. So I have to go and look what is going on. And I see post office truck on my driveway. I was like, yay. So when I went to see, because yesterday that package by truck and number was like two hours away from me. And I was hoping we'll get yesterday, but it was still stuck in the same place. And today it was actually in the box, not in a bag as usually. All product was in a box, huge one, big box. All product came nice and safe. So it's going to be literally unboxing video. <laughs> more straight canvas why didn't you tell me let me know in the comments if the stitching was really kind of terrible if it's because I'm, I cannot look on my camera all the time but it was a very very shaky or, or was not bad let me know I know with the frame would be much better unfortunately for this canvas I don't have a frame Usually I would use my like the square one frame that I have for European town but they are all with other canvases and I decided not to unframe <laughs> just didn't wanted to take it off from my other cross stitch because what if my spinner will pick the design next and it's just going to be back and forth pull it out so yeah Daisy, no. Don't start. There's neighbors show up and park car and, you know, when they close door. It's always her. She's very grouchy these days. I don't know why. She was grouchy like this when she was pregnant. Oh, she changed her attitude big time. Uh, but this time, we wasn't very careful, but I don't see any symptoms. I don't think she got pregnant because I would cry if she do. But we were trying to be protective as much as possible so body don't get her. She's still wearing her diaper thing, but she don't really need anymore. But I'm just being super cautious and will keep her for a couple more days. To make sure body not interested in her anymore because even little son was trying to hump her oh yeah that's funny little thing trying to hump his own mother weirdo so yeah she grouchy but hopefully hey no barking don't start do you hear her Daisy, if you're going to be a bad girl, I'm going to kick you off the sofa. You're going to go to the door. Grounded. Don't forget to stitch number with the same color as I'm doing right now. <laughs> there is a printed color. Sometimes I'm daydreaming and leave it behind and later it's like, oh my God, what am I doing? I should always take a picture before and after in the beginning of the week and later but you know what it may be a waste of time because I don't believe I will do like a big progress 
No, it's okay. You will remember, right? What we're stitching. We need to eliminate the green color on both sides of the vase. And later we'll see what else I can do. Maybe sometime on Saturday uh, or tomorrow. I will try come back and maybe we will try stitch one more time together for the blends if it's if it's going to be okay. One stitch at a time, my people, and you will have a piece of art created by you. The best artist ever, it's you. Right? You are a master for yourself. The only thing I don't like in 11 count, the thread getting used up too quick. <laughs> Feels like I should stitch like with longer threads, never ending, so I don't have to re-thread all the time. Feels like I just put new thread, it's already over. Even like this one, we just started and it's already half of the thread is gone. Okay, I will have to move my canvas forward to me after table. And stretch a little. Then, okay, we'll roll it here. Okay, like that. That should look good for you. Those lines of the back stitch in here feels like it's a different symbol. So don't mistake, it's not. It's just a back stitch printed. Having fun yet? You know what I'm looking forward to? To some blossoms around here. Like cherry apple blossoms. It's been long winter already. I know some of you on the states up there when it's much warmer you probably already have some blossoms or it's too early. When does the tree start to bloom? One of my friends, we used to be on the same team, a card making design team, paper craft. And she's Canadian, but she lived now for many years in USA. And she always posts in pictures a blossom when we still have sometimes snow here. It's like, oh, I'm so jealous. She already have a blooming trees and we just like not even close. Yeah. She loved to do photography, so she always have photographs. Pretty photographs of blooms. Okay, I think I need to move camera a little bit more up, all the way like that. This 
symbol looks nice and visible good this yellow and with the axis looks good would be easy to stitch that one maybe one day I should pick color and just go with the color through the whole canvas and then come back and do again interesting if that would be good or not to do that do I have a tritan in here as a cross stitch or not? Tritan plus, uh huh. Symbol plus in red color. I don't even see it in here. Hmm. Maybe somewhere on, like, I don't see it. Where is this plus? I guess not much, maybe here. I think uh, whatever it was black I already finished because on a vase in here somewhere so that's probably already finished the, the whole black color because I don't see any more any any more symbols for the triton because I know always usually I go for triton first I don't know why I like to stitch first darker color more visibility of dimension dimension of the design when you stitch black first and remember for the speedy stitching pull your threads quicker don't drag it slowly just go boom down down not like slowly enjoying no stitch faster you still gonna enjoy <laughs> sometimes I'm in a la la land I can forget and do slow then, then I remember I have to speed up and then I start to pull my thread quicker and it does make a difference on the speed if you don't want to stack for years and years in the same design So yeah, all Wednesday I was stitching European Town. Even I already posted video on channel, I still was stitching. So um, I did finish all the park threads that I show you in my video. And I park a whole bunch of new one, but I did not record anymore. I was just stitching this out recording new start. So I'm doing good job, but now finally last night I put away my European town and took to my craft room so I don't attempt to stitch again because <laughs> I need to give a progress on this one because if I will have a European town here I would be just sitting stitching it. Uh, European town. I know I see like oh I see the end and that that's what make me I want to stitch more and more but at the same time we need to give a love every other design I think I've reco recounted last night I put all my printed uh, no 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 not printed sorry my printed designs and my counting designs was separate on a different spin wheel so I added all the counted to my all of them to, to my rest of the designs because how am I gonna pick with spinner if it's not on a different wheel right so now there is a possibility that uh, spinner will pick counted design which is scary <laughs> how i gonna oh it's gonna be tricky to stitch together with you counted but i will do my best so all together i have 49 and i'm not sure if i miss any or not to put into my spinner uh, some of the designs I just make up my own name and then time from time I'm thinking what kind of design that is so I have to maybe look through all the designs and write down the correct most of them I fix it, I think the correct name what is on the packages um, 
because some of the design that I were looking yesterday it says Ukrainian sampler and I'm just thinking thinking what kind of sampler I don't remember what kind of sampler I have Ukrainian sampler is a sampler that I already stitched and forgot to take it down or what like it's you know <laughs> in my head I cannot remember what kind of sampler is that so I have to look oh okay now I remember what kind of sampler that is I think I put a Ukrainian sampler it's my black and red beaded stitching that I did Okay, now I got it. Maybe I should edit beaded. That way I will don't have to think twice next time. Okay, I got it. Because I start to get confused a little bit. What did I write down? Because I should put correct name that canvas call. And I don't remember what kind of name up there. We are almost done of this thread and that's all we're going to stitch for now, okay? I will get now progress more on my own. I'm just going to quickly show you what I will be stitching. Body dreaming. Right. So, what we stitch so far? Let's see. So, we stitch in here. I will finish this piece some other time. Uh, now we stitch all this bright brown color all the way in here. So that's a good progress, right? Um, then I check um, what to stitch with you blends. It's actually. You see this border in here and once again you see it feels like it's one color but it's two colors in here this one color here is another color but I believe that's exactly the same color blends that we have in here and this is half stitch now this little border of two lines this is blends of full stitch so when I look on my paper hold on let me grab it in here this paper okay see this borders from both sides of the way so in here we have um, okay let's look let's look this way okay now I have to open I have to open okay so if we look in a pattern in here we have this kind of like a almost like a plus and P because before I thought this is all one color till I till I look in here see because these colors are very very similar so when we look in here here is one of them we have a blend combine full stitch and then symbol P also combine full stitch so all this was in half and now we kind of like gonna cap it in full stitch so maybe in here we will get these borders around the waist with you with the blends try to together from this side and from this side to kind of make uh, this part of the tablecloth whatever that is and then from there will be flowers okay um, then I have to do my homework I will finish all the green color in here but this is two colors in here see this is the one that we stitch in and 33 it's already different green color so it's a different symbols uh, I'm going right now after this bright green that we were just stitching so this is how much kind of in here I have a little bit in here or that's a different color no that's a, also two different green colors so maybe I should eliminate both of them and then I have on this side all this green color so that's the main thing I would love to cover can I do that yes it's not much in here after that I'm not sure maybe I will 
pick some other from here or maybe just go and over stitch this light light pink color okay not sure what I want to do but that's what I have so far the vase looks so good from far away so I will see you next time when we will stitch blends and it's Saturday and I switch my mind from borders that we're supposed to do with you together blend to different blend which I have in here a big patch of this green stripe symbols now I do have blend in my hands right now but it's such a similar colors of the threads so I don't even know if it's visible for you that this is a blend so how I do blend it's like one uh, lighter brown color and two strand of darker and then when I do my other blend I just put together my leftover of the thread so it will be like two now of the light color and one of the dark color so that's how I'm switching so my waist of threads go same amount not more oh now I already mentioned in my diamond painting about the new magnet that I've received <clears throat> So I still overlooking a lower floor. I cannot find where is my magnet. Uh, so if mag magnet came out from the canvas this easily, that's how easily you can lose your needles that would be park on your needle minder. And that is why it's so frustrating and very dangerous that company uses such a cheap magnet and put us all in danger if you have uh, animals that can swallow the needle um kids little kids crawling around the floor so yeah that this is really not comforting thing to have that i did not email yet to to make my statement of the review about this magnets because i'm kind of a little bit when i'm angry i'm trying to cool down because i don't want to be like <clears throat> a little bit too harsh and explain in a fresh head so I will do that later on <laughs> sometime to explain them to use a good quality instead of cheap quality and less money yes better pay for a little bit more but magnet they will stick and you have to like force it to take it off the canvas that would be magnet especially the magnets are so tiny and leaf our big one that it's a wobble even my stronger magnet that I put on the bottom doesn't hold very good because the other magnet is just so tiny and uh, yeah no I'm not happy about that one so Saturday you watching my diamond painting video today and oh my goodness it took me forever to upload the video that's why I was late I had to literally stop my uploading on 20 minutes from hour and 13 minutes and literally reboot my computer because it was loading by the seconds like so slow 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 so I restarted computer started over so it took me for a long time to load one hour and 13 minutes video uh, so soon as I wake up in the morning and I was up staying to three or four o'clock uh, I was watching movie on Netflix oh my goodness and it's such a kind of sad end don't like this kind of movies uh, so when I wake up this morning I was like oh okay my video finally uploaded so I can post so that's why my video was a little bit late on Saturday. Um, <clears throat> so I'm stitching rows right now. And this rose is kind of like a yellow color. The other one will be more colorful. Uh, I found some black color stitching. I did some purple. So I will show you. I did some, um, yeah, I did some stitching. Um, I would say more than I thought I would do 
I even stitch in here, uh, see the blend with metallic thread. Uh, this darker color also will be with metallic thread blend. And this one blend. But it's like it's so difficult to stitch this one because so many similar colors that literally I have to... Every patch I have to verify with the book. I don't know how much power I have to ask companies to contact this brand and ask them to change symbols. If I can do that, I'm gonna put the <laughs> uh, trophy for myself. But you know what, I, I will try to get my point. That is beautiful canvases, beautiful product, good quality product. I just need to change one thing. It's a symbols. So maybe I will get brave, brave and do that. Just a minute. I just created little knots in here. Okay, got it. <clears throat> now, now when I crisscross in here, I see a little bit of blend, but it's very, very light blend. Let me see if I can bring you even more close to me. Not sure if you're going to see it. Let's bring more light. Okay. This dark um, blue. Uh, no, no, I was teaching different kind of blue. Not this one blue. So a few colors I tackled last night and of course did lots of diamond painting on a crystal design but uh, still have a couple hours maybe just maybe I have a hour or two stitch today mm, it's you know not much I will have a time today but need to do other thing So we can create a couple more minutes together of stitching, then that would be good. At least this uh, symbol, green stripes, I don't have like in different shades of green same stripe because that would be difficult. For example, like this pink and this pink, it's two different colors. Uh, you probably... Mm, no, maybe this two are the same. This one already different. Uh, but it, it's hard. It's, it's really hard. It could be one of this, like in here, eight. And exactly same, very similar color. Like already will be different symbols. So, Every move I'm making it, <laughs> I'm looking into my book first. Otherwise, I will be in trouble and stitching different colors. So I pick purposely this green because I know it's only one symbol like this. I'm not going to mistake by stitching with you right now. But at the same time, I have a see look that that's how stupid this is okay sorry for this word using a green symbol of stripe and then you have a green backstitch which creates another stripe so you don't know what is this green symbol of course it's not but it looks like so this is like a so need to pay attention to it because <laughs> you see how this is actually red triangles in here this one symbol but it looks like green stripe, right? So th that is why it's so confusing. Like the people just don't know how to put symbol correctly on this brand. They have a good idea, but luck of thinking have to get it right. So yes, blend, I also stitch in three threads, just for beginners reminder, 
when I started to do blends it really I search YouTube in so many different keywords I could not find video how to do blend on 11 count so this is, was like my <laughs> thinking how to do the best not to waste all time <clears throat> one color more from the other so I created this for myself 2 plus 1 and then 2 plus 1 from leftovers will be opposite colors and that's the way I'm doing it so I create different shading but I don't see other ways have to do it without being short on one color if you're doing it differently let me know how you're doing it At least it's warmer outside today <clears throat> and Friday was really cold. It's the wind that make it like minus. Today it's actually nice. Okay, I have to keep it kind of canvas more up so you can see it. Hopefully next time spinner will pick me something that is easy to frame or something that it's already in the frame. Hope you all will have wonderful Easter time and don't forget to comment what do you think spinner will pick for next Sunday which design if you don't remember what kind of design I have look my full video of whips that I have for 2023 video uh, finishes and whips so uh, you can see up there all my designs and person who will guess lucky winner will be win some prize from me I don't think this week I have a winner so far I don't remember anyone pick this design but keep trying that's the fun you never know when you can win This blend is barely visible, to be honest. Very, very similar colors. But maybe it's a good thing. If too much of the difference would look maybe weird, I don't know. I still have a few video to review I 
I'm a little bit behind these days, I have to say, I admit. I'm a little bit behind. Trying to scramble one at a time. Because if I'm late and hours, it's mean video is loading like last minute. just going to stitch this thread and that's it and I will show you what I have for now will I have more time to stitch a little bit later or not um, we'll see and maybe I just going to like post picture or take a picture maybe uh, if I manage to do any more <coughs> I will put picture or my in next video or maybe just in a Facebook group I don't know because at this point I feel like I want to stitch this one but I'm just like <laughs> want to really move up a little bit where it's more easier simple easy to see but in here all this million thing of pink have to do it see like one color pink, another color pink, and sometimes they blend in. This four in here color white. On the other side, a little bit further up there, I have a sam same color, but it's already different numbers. <laughs> That's why I'm just like, oops, oh, yeah, okay. And I was like, That's it. I don't know, I don't see a difference in the color, even with glasses, but it's a different number complication slowing me down because I always have to look on the paper probably would be easier just to wash this canvas and to count it to be oh what am I doing I miss one here it would be easier to do count it with all these colors After all, I stitch more than 100 stitches, <laughs> which I said, you know, even if I stitch 100 stitches, I will be happy because I did a little bit of the progress. So I can definitely say that I stitch more than 100 or more than 300. So I'm not sure how much I stitch, but definitely did some progress and that's good. Now, who knows when this canvas will get back into rotation after I took, I will take it, all of them from my rotation then at the end of the year, I, if I still have time available to do some canvases as a double stitch, then I will, but for now, it's going to be one canvas at a time. Okay, I will be stopping right now. I hope you have fun time stitching together with me. And this is what is going to be left for next time. So what did I stitch this time? As I wanted, I stitched all the green color. And here was one color of green. And here was two colors of green. I stitched in here this metallic blend. I stitched all this brown, some brown, um, some of this blue. I stitch in here this black and purple color. It actually looks like a blue. 
and it's continue kind of line in here then I stitch all this uh, green and brown colors in here so if I can flip another side you're probably gonna see a little bit better all this brown that we see in here all this green color um, and this yeah also this black and purple then some oh also we stitch in here on the ways the the like a blue light blue green color whatever that is um yes and lots in here some blues in here i was stitching and all this green again black and purple these lines so kind of did some progress but not as much as i say it's very difficult colors to do because in some point feels like you know the symbol another one mm, not as much so it really slowing me down really slowing me down all these colors but that's okay i will get it i will get it but so far that's what we have please comment what do you think my spinner will pick for next time like right now my spinner have all my designs even counted so nothing is going to be missing unless i totally forgot about some design i have to check maybe double check i don't know how to check don't really want to pull out all my designs again to count them but yes here it is it is beautiful design lots to go all this beautiful design will be like in here for example this beautiful purple color especially like lots in here that's all half stitches so the background will be like lots of those purple symbol in here half stitches i will do them later on probably in the end yeah so that's what it is in this pattern on the paper so you can see this rose that's what we were stitching with you um gonna be like a yellow rose and then rest of gonna be pink one this one so in here on the paper is the true colors that we should see that is how it's going to look like okay beautiful golden cloth kind of so that's what we are going for all right thank you so much i will see you next sunday with what spinner will pick for us spinner choice what's the video called spinner choice <laughs> all right happy easter everyone